another one. Yeah, the sequel is Jesus Take the Wheel. So Carson Wentz saying we could make a run. They certainly can, but if we look at their remaining schedule, it is brutal. Sunday, they have to go to Dallas to lead the NFC East. Then they have to L.A. to take on the NFC leading L.A. Rams. Then they host a great Texans team that's won nine straight before they finish up against Washington at FedEx Field. Woof is what I will say. You brought up big picture a little bit later. How much faith do we have, maybe after what we saw last night, which wasn't very convincing, that they can get it done? What do you guys got? Come on, Peter. I got... Go ahead. You go, because I feel like we're going to be pretty negative, but let's hear it. It's not right. negative, but what was it? we always talk about Rocky, speaking of Philly. Yeah. Ad, what does Adrian say when she doesn't believe that Rocky can fight? Was it Apollo? You've seen him, you know how big he is? You can't win. You Don't can't fight win. Drago. I'm Drago not saying Apollo. that. I'm just, it's going to be really tough. Just because last night's win, you won against Mark Sanchez, who doesn't fully know the playbook, and you had to, you know, grit it out for a win over that team. So the schedule's really tough. I feel like this team still doesn't have the juice that it did last year. I wouldn't be surprised, but it's going to be so tough. They're going to have to win really really crazy schedule. Yeah. Okay, in the morning meeting, I'm sitting there at 5.15, we have this conversation, and on my notes, I put, too difficult. Too difficult. Then we start the show, and I'm listening to you, and you're talking about the Eagles, and you mentioned last year, and you mentioned them going through adversity, losing their quarterback, the ups and downs mm -hmm. of the season. They've been here before. As much as I want to say it's too difficult, who am I sitting here with a sweater underneath my blazer saying it's too difficult for the Eagles, who are world champions? They're the world champs, regardless of the schedule, regardless of their record, regardless of what's going on. This is the month of December. And guess what? They started off on the right note. They got to win. I don't care if it's Mark Sanchez. I don't care if it's Kaepernick coming off the bench. I don't care who is on the squad. If they get the win, they got the win. That is a dub in the win column. So for me, I'm looking at this Eagle team after thinking about it for an hour. I feel like they're in decent position right now. They can win four games in a row. Yes, they can. You don't think this team can muster up enough strength and remind themselves of who they really are? Look in the mirror and say, forget about the underdog mask. Mm -hmm. We're the big dog now. We don't need a mask because everybody else is wearing a mask because they're fake champions. We're the mm -hmm. real champions. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm looking at this Eagles team, and I, I do feel like with Carson Wentz, like Kyle Sane during yeah. highlights, don't let him heat up. Yeah. Uh, Golden Tate, who just got here, and all of a sudden, he is heating up. And Sproles is Darren back. Sproles is back. Hasn't been back since week one. The defensive line is their strength. They're getting after quarterbacks. I feel like they do have a chance, and they do have a Ooh. shot, and it isn't too difficult. Let me let me look at it this way, because I think what they need is some help, right? They need some help, and... That's for sure. Here's what they need. They need the Cowboys to do what the Cowboys do, and that is... Collapse. That is what the Eagles need. And if you're an Eagles fan, it's not like you haven't seen it before. 2008, the Cowboys were riding high. Everything was going well. And then they collapsed at the end of the season. It goes to week 17 in Philly. Cowboys were 9-5 and five going into their last two weeks. They lose to the Ravens. They go into Philly. And the Eagles beat them 44-6. to six. This is why everyone said Romo couldn't win the big game. Or Garrett. This is why everyone said that, you know, Andy Reid can't get the big one done. It was this game, or Andy Reid can get the big one done. McNabb, they go in, they get him. But it happens in 2012 for the Cowboys. They were 8-6. and six. They were first in their division. They fell apart and lost the back-to-back -back games. 2011, the Cowboys were 7-4 and four entering the month of December. They fell apart. If you're an Eagles fan, you need to rely on history. You can't rely on, oh, last week the Saints, uh, they couldn't get it done against the Cowboys. You have to look at this and you have to say, you know what? The Cowboys have been frauds in our division. And before, mm. the Cowboys have been frauds against us before. Mm. We got the Cowboys next week. We could beat the Dallas Cowboys. You know what? Look at the Dallas Cowboys schedule okay. coming up, all right? Dallas Cowboys schedule. This exactly. Yeah. Hey, Eagles, defending champions. At Colts, you think Andrew Luck is going to lay down again? Buccaneers are hot. And is there anything the Giants would love more? Talk about it! Would anything the Giants fans would love more <laughs> than to flippers. knock the Cowboys out of the playoff picture? I'm telling you what. I know a lot of Cowboys fans watch the show. I know it's good for the NFL when the Cowboys are on national television and winning. <laughs> If you're an Eagles fan, you got to take care of your own business, but you've got to rely on something that you have seen from the Dallas Cowboys year and year mm. and year and year and year after year, <laughs> and that is an epic Dallas Cowboys collapse. Romo might not be any, in there anymore, and I know Romo was the guy that always would lose the game. Yeah. Guess what? That logo and those December performances, they still are. Eagles fans.
Fly Eagles fly, not because of you, but because the Cowboys can't get the get job done. <laughs> drown, Dallas, drown. Is that what you're saying? Rest in peace to your mention. Yeah. What do you At get T. Shregs trending down. I'm just saying. <laughs> Peter, that's history. You didn't make that up. Uh, hey, I didn't do it. No. I, I look at it this way. One of my favorite gifts, I think we saw that. One of my favorite gifts is the Undertaker's there in the <laughs> casket. And he goes. <laughs> And it sits up. The Tyson Fury. And then yeah, do that. There's dude in the crowd. And it's, like, and it's like, and the, and people like oh, the Undertaker just sat up. The Undertaker sat up last night. Now, he didn't get out yet. And I'm going to go with another WWE. I'm still going to take that black shoe polish and rub it on my face. And I'm going to be Hollywood Hogan, the Eagles heel. Isn't it? You know, we talk about they don't have any juice. I'm going to tell you that there's no way that Golden Tate, one of the most electrifying players in football, will bring a little juice. <laughs> oh I'm not going to tell you that Darren oh Sproles, boy. one of the all-time most electrifying players in football, is going to bring a little juice. I'm not going to tell you that suddenly Michael Bennett has got hot, a Super Bowl champion who's going to bring a little juice. And I'm certainly not going to tell you that last night Wentz looked spry. He looked all the way the hell back, juking and jucking and doing all chucking. And I'm not going to tell you that he's got it either. And I'm certainly not going to tell you that the Dallas Cowboys aren't having epic history of spineless collapses down the stretch. Wow. I wouldn't want to tell you guys that, but when they do beat the Cowboys, if they do, I will walk in here with Wawa and Tasty Cakes and Chicky and Pete's and I will stand on this table, but not now. Because they're not out of the cast yet. I would not want to tell you that. Just, Still just got a lot of work to be done. You know, they're here, and then they beat the Redskins, <laughs> and the guys like this. But <laughs> Gotta get out, though. All jokes aside. No jokes, okay? Not a joke. Not, we don't do jokes. do anything... And that it really impressed you. Was it really an Undertaker getting up situation last night? I'll tell you what it was. It's uh -oh. a weird thing against the Redskins. I know. It's such a weird game. It's yes. Like, it took until week 13 for them to win back to back games. That's crazy for a defending champion. No defending champion has taken that long since the Buccaneers in 2002. So why do you expect them to. But they do did anything? it. Okay. But they did it. They've got a little. Right. They hadn't had a back to back. The win, juice is there, and this is not a joke either. There was not just a couple completions. There was chemistry between Wentz and Tate. Yeah. Chemistry, like downfield improvising. I do think Sproles make a makes a difference. They need electricity. Yeah. And Tate and Sproles bring. I think they can make a difference. The home run hitter, he sure is some uh, more weapons out there. But I'm looking at so they're six and six. They're tied with the Redskins, who are on the way out. And the Panthers are six and six. So it sort of comes down to who do you have more faith in, the Panthers or the Eagles? And then I might go on your side, guys, because I think that they can't do it. But if you look at the division, the, the playoff pictures go in. The Panthers do not look good. Look at the division, K. Mm -hmm. yeah. Division. Mm -hmm. The Cowboys are one game ahead of them, and they still have to play them. Yeah. That's how they got to look at it. Win the division. Oh man. The Cowboys are fine. There's no way they can blow this. I think they got it. Oh yeah. Cowboys are good. It's their. It's they always do. Who they, they play in the first round? The Cowboys. Yeah. Who they got? They're, Cowboys. They're fine. Oh, they got you back. We want to hear. I want to. Cowboys, Cowboys fans. We you know what they're going to say. I'd like to hear from Eagles fans. They're very honest. Yeah. Very honest fan base. How are you feeling about your Eagles after this win? What they have down the stretch? Weird the win, right? I'd love to hear yeah. from Philly fans this morning. Hashtag GMFP.